Hear these words from Ephesians uh, 4, verse 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. The dynamic preacher, Dwight Moody, his life was coming to an end and he lay on his deathbed. Composer Will Thompson sat with him for their final visit and Dr. Moody gestured to his friend to, to lean closer. And Dr. Moody said, Will, I'd rather have written softly and tenderly than anything I have been able to do in my life. Will Thompson, the author of Softly and Tenderly, was born on November 7th in 1849 in Beaver County, Pennsylvania, but his family soon moved to East Liverpool, Ohio. His father, who was a banker and a member of the Ohio legislature, encouraged his son to enter the business world. But music was an integral part of Will's makeup, and, and he enrolled instead at the New England Conservatory of Music. He graduated with honors, and when he began his own publishing uh, firm in his hometown, the business prospered, as did his talent for composing and singing. At that time, his interest centered on, on patriotic songs and popular songs, but one day, as he sat in one of Dwight Moody's evangelist crusades, Thompson was deeply touched by the hand of God. He experienced a major change in his outlook on life. He now wanted to write songs that would lead others to a deeper knowledge of God's revelation in Jesus Christ. He had a new mission. Softly and tenderly became a symbol of that new mission and his vision. We don't know the exact circumstances of the song's birth in the 1880s, but the line, All who are weary come home, is revealing. Could it be that Will Thompson remembered his earlier resistance to God's call? That phrase can also remind us of, of Jesus' call in Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Even though many of us have, have answered God's call to, to discipleship, we too get wearied. When we get wrestled down with, with decisions that are confusing and, and, and things that are hard, we must listen to the soft and tender call of Jesus and ask for his help and his direction. The final call that comes to everyone is death. And we can be at peace when we read the promise of Jesus in John 14, verse 2. In my Father's house are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place for you. Let us pray. Lord, keep the ear of my heart open to your voice. Let the words of this hymn touch us. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, you who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O oh sinners, Come home. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. So fear and tenderly, Jesus is called.